Well, he needs no introduction, does he, really? <laughs> and the owner of Oscar <laughs> is here this morning, Dame Helen Mirren. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was um, an incredible night, you can imagine. And the, and the culmination of a sort of a growing, you know, tsunami, hurricane yeah. sort of thing that I was in. Yeah. Well, if you hadn't have won it, it would have been the biggest upset of the decade, I think, wasn't it? I mean, well, the bookies had closed books and all that yes, sort of they stuff. they would have been happy, I would have thought, yeah. yes. <laughs> Did you actually enjoy the evening, though? Because we were covering it live here on this programme, and we were waiting for you and waiting for you, and you were ages before you came, and everyone was upon you, and you very generously <laughs> spoke to us. But yes, did you actually get to enjoy the evening? I did. It's, it's always hard work, you know, the red carpet. Actually, I get <laughs> nervous. I was more nervous for the BAFTAs this year, honestly. Really? I think because it's home territory, you know, my country. And uh, so I was very, very nervous for the BAFTAs. I was feeling sick all day long. But for the Oscars, I suddenly relaxed. I thought, you know, it's fine. It's fine either way. It's incredible just to be here. Mm. That's an amazing honour. Um, and, and it's the end of a sort of long journey and um, I'm thrilled to be here so just relax and enjoy it and I did in general I yeah, did. and you looked as though you did when you got up there on stage with your little clutch bag. You yes, took that with you too. <laughs> well, I had my earring in one hand because they were hurting so badly. I'd taken it off. Ah, and you've then, answered a question. And then suddenly it was the, the nomination was up. I thought, I can't be seen putting it back on again because it looked like I'm expecting to win, you know. Right, so now because I've got my Tracy from Blackpool hand. was very, very <laughs> mystified as to what happened to your earring. Well, so it that was, was in it, Tracy. Hand. And then, of course, it's, it's a diamond earring, you know, worth gazillions. Mm. So I'm thinking, I can't drop it, I mustn't <laughs> lose it. I've got my earring in one hand, my bag in the other. Mm. I've got no hands to take the Oscar. Have you ever been completely starstruck yourself? If so, by whom? Oh, I'm often very starstruck, and, mm -hmm. and that's one of the sort of um, both intimidating and exciting things about being on the red carpet and going to the Oscars is you do meet one huge star after another, mm. um, and it is quite quite intimidating. And you start opposite some of the very greats, haven't you? James Mason. Must have <laughs> yeah, been, starting with James, yes. Um, and um, a few, but, but still, you know, you meet these huge, iconic people from from film especially from the film world and it, mm. it is quite intimidating and they're just human uh, they are just human but they're always either smaller than you expect or, or bigger than you expect they're never the right scale no. somehow yeah. and, and then what, much taller than you expect you're much shorter than you expect and you're always surprised that they know who you are don't you even though you have worldwide yes, fame you yes, know if Clint absolutely. Eastwood pops along and says hi Helen, just, hi Helen oh, I'm hey. amazed yeah. absolutely this is when you arrived at our um, we had we had Carla our reporter on the line shouting and baying and saying Helen Helen oh. when you arrived and uh, the lady there you are the very graciously coming, coming Thank across the Lord she came over to say hello to mm. me our whole show and all our viewers have been waiting oh for you! <laughs> Let's have a look at that Oscar. Yeah, there here, you are. Here he is. I just, he. Well, we don't there need that now. You're here, you're here in the flesh, along with Oscar. <laughs>